How you doing? In honor of Mother Wendy. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I have 55 subscribers. 45 to 100. Okay, that's my goal this week. <laughs> uh, let's get it. Let's go. Now, this has not been the best weekend. I am not looking my best self. And thank you for the silver to the Silver Star Casino for providing me with this nice hat and nice shirt that I won for playing. Cute ain't. Oh good old Steve Azar, he always going down there giving them all types of stuff. I got all types of stuff. Grills, griddles, you know. But, um, so, one of the pharaohs came in. She was like, if y'all don't know, that's what I call my children, pharaoh children. So, one of the pharaohs came in and said, hey, mom, you know, I, my eyes red. I said, she said, I think I have pink eye, mom. I said, no, nah, maybe it's your allergies. But let me take it to the doctor anyway. So we go to the doctor. And the doctor uh, checks up for the pink eye and, uh, she starts coughing. And I said, yeah, she's been coughing. And, he, and she says, anything else? And I said, uh, well, maybe. She said she's been coughing by a sore throat, but I gave her some warm salt and water. And she looks in the throat, drains in the throat. Well, we better test her for strep and uh, the C19, break a break a one now. Strep, negative. C19, positive. Here we go. Then the other one gets the cough. And it's like, well, we better test that one too. Because, you know, I don't have a village, so I have to bring out my children here where I go. So they tested that one. Positive. C19. Break a break one now. So guess what? Mom is down by default. Right? So I'm exhibiting symptoms. Stuff nose, headache, my ribs are tender. So I'm gonna do the best I can to push through this because I had to get on this just like everybody else who reviewed the real house. I'm sorry, I always do that, don't I? Um, Love and Marriage Huntsville because Love and Marriage Huntsville is one of my favorite shows. I never stopped liking it, I never fell off from it. I don't miss anybody that's gone, that aka Destiny. And AKA one of them, but I wouldn't care if they were there either. I never was one of those types that will push to make sure nobody's off the show. I don't stop nobody's chick. I'm going to watch and watch contently. Some people I don't like, some people I don't care for, some people I like more than others. But hey, that would be the same way as if I was watching a scripted show. <laughs> I'm not going to stop watching All the Queen's Men because. I uh I don't like a uh, Miss Funky Tammy or uh who else is my least favorite character on there? Um well I mean I pretty much like everybody on all the queens. Man, I guess that was a bad example. Okay, let's use the oval for example. I'm not gonna start watching the oval because I don't like Victoria's. Okay. So, you know, there's going to be some characters on reality shows that you might not like. But I'm not understanding the movement to get this show off the air or because, you know, somebody might not like your favorite. Foolishness. You never went right, wrote in back in my day. We never had this right in because we hated JR to, to have the show canceled because we hate JR. That's a character he's playing on TV, and I'm pretty sure. And some of our least favorites are kind of nice in public or private or however you want to do it. But um, I'm moving right along. That's just my little spiel on this. Like I said, I'm, I'm in my previous video, uh, my short, I'm going to try to be as, as objective as possible doing this review. Favorites are not spared here. Okay. All right. Now, another episode with my sour in the title. The name of the episode it's where there's um, smoke, there's more sour. I call Marceau, more sour, because he has a sour personality to me. 
All right. This is uh, episode 21, season 60B. One night, starting with Kiki, she's starting off. One night, Marceau uh, hooked up with Beep Beep, and they had a threesome. Beep Beep's ex calls Kiki. I'm trying to read this kind of word for word because I don't really want to miss anything. <laughs> so she wanted to tell Kiki, wanted to tell Tisha in person that Beep Beep's ex had called her. Now, I'm calling her Beep Beep, dog whistles, everything else, was, you know, beeping out her name. I don't know her name. Probably I've heard in the YouTube street that's a stylist or Tisha stylist or in the circle stylist. I have no idea. They also accused Carson of being this stylist, but you know, that was debunked. So who knows? <laughs> who knows what it is? Did I tell y'all about my cute little stuff on Silver Star? But you know, yeah, the star. Cute name. My kids love it. But anyway, <laughs> well, I had to do a shameless plug too. I mean, I'm not getting paid from the Silver Star to, you know, talk about their products, but hey, you know, you know, I'm just gonna hype myself up for being a good member down there at the Choctaw Casino <laughs> and spending my money. So I'm really giving myself a shout out for winning this. And being a good loyal customer and them sending it to me in the mail. Well, you know they send you those vouchers. I go get my stuff when I get my vouchers. Say what? I don't spend no money now and then to get, to get my stuff. But anyway. Um beep beep. When I say beep beep, I'm talking about whatever that is. Okay? Whatever she is. So oh boy, also the ex of beep beep. Also texted Tisha. And when he texted Tisha, Tisha started blaming Kiki. Now, Kiki is upset because she's thinking that Tisha is blaming her because Beep Beep's ex called Tisha or text her. And, uh, Mel says, well, if I don't if I don't want to know what's a person, Tisha called to try to find, um, you know, to try to blame her and said, did you have Big Big's ex text me? And then that's when we know that at this point, Tisha is blaming Kiki. Because why would you call <laughs> your cousin? who is trying to tell you what happened. That's what the meeting was about, but it's not clear if Kiki even gave her any inclination why she wanted to meet with her. But in my mind, and for me trying to be as objective as I can with this video, I'm thinking that Kiki <laughs> was intending to tell Tisha and I I do believe that Tisha didn't want to know, so she didn't show up intentionally because she knew in my mind what uh, Kiki wanted to tell her. But, uh, you know, they with Mel and her exchange, and Mel tells her, Well, why is she mad at you? She should be mad at Beep Beep. And she said, No, she's not mad at Beep Beep or Beep Beep's ex. She's angry with me. And then she told me to fire my hussy. Now, her hussy, I think maybe one of her assistants or one of her stylists. Nobody is clear on this because I watched three reviews. <laughs> and nobody is clear on who Tisha wanted her to fire. But clearly, it's not her whatever stylist, whatever BB is to her, because she's mad at Kiki for not firing her whatever assistant or you know they they even beat that out <laughs> i don't have no idea but kiki said she wanted to tell her asap which i do believe let me throw that in and um 
Mel is like, well, I feel like, you know, Tisha is at the point where she's looking at it like, you know, I've thrown so much dirt on other people's marshes, including mine, that she is being an ostrich. And what do ostriches do when, when they get scared? Bury their heads in the sand, right? So I've always called Tisha an ostrich. Not because she looks like one. Because she acts like one. Um, she says, you know, any confessional kick he says for far too long, Tisha has been believing her gaslighting husband over her flesh and blood. Now, right, you are her flesh and blood. However, more sour, good, bad, ugly, hips and all, <laughs> that is her husband. And from what I can see from Letitia, a lot of it, it, her not believing what's going on with Marceau is because she don't want to prove me right. Okay, that's where I'm going with this. <laughs> that's what I see. And so Mel says <laughs> in her confession that, you know, Tisha never had a problem trying to make her look bad on camera in regards to motel so she tells um kiki she said where there's smoke there's fire and i'm seeing fire and flames and smoke in regards to what's going on with leticia again she doesn't want to know so kiki says Changes the subject and she asked her, Well, what do you, what do you know about Camera's Beauty on the website? And uh Mila and Macy's uh website. And Mel's like, you know, I know a little something about it. I saw the uh a booth at the Black Expo. And then she said, Well, just let me tell you, she has copied and pasted all of Stormy's information and put it on her uh and put it on her website her flyer on her website and Mel says girl I know you lying I don't think they're partnering because you know what happened at the uh town hall meeting you know she didn't seem like she was it you know if I wasn't feeling bad you know I'd be doing Mel's voice <laughs> so you know I have to be all up in here. I probably won't be able to get it. Let's see if I can do a little something with it. But, uh, no, all this congestion. My goodness. And then she says, um, um, Kiki says, well, that is straight up plagiarism if that's what they did. Um, but Stormy is not mad at her, you know, but at the same time, it does look very suspect. And I remember when this came out, baby, when I tell you that that was the weirdest ish I ever seen. <laughs> I was like, what the? Even I, when I do my videos, right, I have a certain amount of respect, even though I am paying them. I have a certain amount of respect for other content creators that have drop their information for like thumbnails on campus right so when i use other people's information off of those templates that they give us on camp on canvas just as examples right you don't mean for you to copy and paste thumbnails that they have requested to be downloaded to the website to give you an example <laughs> no that's not you being original or you using your own work. So, male and confessional says, well, I'm trying to get it, but I, I don't know if I got it yet. Okay, let me try. Um, male and confessional, she says, well, Tisha over there, she got um a bad habit of um, copying and pasting. So, she has garnered that name, copy and paste. And um, the montage begins, right? So during the montage, 
they show first. Um, uh, Tisha asked me, what does it take to be a power couple? And then Mel's like, she knows what it takes to be a power couple because me and Martel, oh, we've been a power couple in, in these Huntsville streets for a whole minute. Then she say, well, there she is again. Being copy and paste because she took my emblem for Embrace Beauty. When Tisha was starting something, I can't even remember what Tisha was starting, but whatever it was, it did look similar to what Mel was doing. And I said, hmm. Now, at that time, I did think Mel was overreacting because I thought that Tisha was just doing these things because she admired Mel, right? She wanted to uh, not just do things exactly like her, but because she admired her. I said at that time, back then, way back then. Now, I understand where she's going because when, like, like with this YouTube thing with me, you know, I have reached out to some of my favorites. I know that they are busy, <laughs> but YouTube is the one who says, reach out to your faves to get tips. It's not always for them to, you know, get paid from giving you tips, just a little splurge here a splurge here and there just to say hey hey you know i heard about this new youtuber especially if that new youtuber has you know added you in the mentions or whatever so you know i just did what um youtube suggests that you do in order to grow your channel so i was thinking back then that that was the same thing that mel was doing because you know this channel is all dvd in my opinion Okay, so I barely <laughs> have anything similar to anybody else, and I try my best to make sure that I don't. However, it's gonna be times because we're doing the same thing. We might say the same words, we may, like I said, use the same thumbnails or you know, background to the thumbnail. Hopefully, not the same exact thumbnail. Okay, same thing with Tisha. That's what I thought she was doing at the time until other things start coming up, like this one, for example. So, um, I'm talking about with the shipping policy, but like I said back then, I just thought Mel was overreacting because then Mel also mentioned, well, not only does she take in first baby, but now it's time for her to make her own path. Get out of my shop. So, and I was like, okay, Mel, you know, you let the girl live. She with this husband. That's a, a J ass or whatever. <laughs> so, you know, she wants to be like you. You let her do that and you know that he is you know trying to make her Susan homemaker and you <laughs> did offer to take her under your wing but um and then uh Mel's like step back and sing with uh Kiki and she says uh well I guess it's stormy times now uh to to be copied and pasted by Miss uh Tisha and uh, she says, as the Huntsville streets turn. Okay. And that scene ends. Oh, I'm trying to get through this. My nose is, ugh, all of this. <laughs> anyway, so Cheap Cheese Puff goes to see Quavis. Well, here we go, right? Shameless plug for Quavis and his business. Because I can guarantee you that that Jeep being souped up was not <laughs> uh paid for 100 percent because what is that what is that for good quavo free promotion mm -mm. no 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 the scots don't need the platform do they mm -hmm. well In these doggone inbox messages. Me trying to grow my channel, I have started accepting more friend requests. Irritating. <laughs> anyway, so um my sour notices cheese puff has on a uh a, a brace on his stomach. Well, on his back, right, you know, in front. And uh he's like, What's that? He's like, man, I was lifting weights the other night, and 
got a little over there and hurt my back. But Marcel is more so looking at that Jeep. He's impressed with that Jimmy, like, and he's somewhat to me jealous because, well, Kimmy Jeep is souped up better than he is. And, uh, uh, Cheese Puff is saying, you know, in a confessional that, well, my wife wanted this, this Jeep, and I want her to have a more, right, you know, say elegant car or a more fancy car. Or whatever the word he used was. But you know what I mean. In other words, he means feminine. So she was like, no, no, no. I want this Jeep so I can uh, have my hair blowing in the wind. This fool gonna say. He said to her, Kim, what are you doing? Kimmy, what are you doing? This fool said to you for real. Baby, you don't have no hair. So what's gonna blow in the wind? Did he say that to you? Please tell me he didn't say that to you. Maybe he just told more style with it. And um, he's get he, he getting geared up, right? He's getting geared up to tell uh more more style about his horrible sex life. And uh, <laughs> more style was like, oh man, I don't want to know this. I mean, we've been we had talked about this stuff for we were twelve years old, lying about our sex life. And he's like, you know, Marcel with his own chemist side surprised me because I'm surprised he didn't say, yeah, sickness and all. That's what the, that's what the vows say, but he didn't say that. You know, he's like, what about your sex life, man? Oh, man, I ain't getting it like I used to. <sighs> what do you mean, man? Just a couple times a week. And then Marcel was like, yeah, like most miracles. He's like, you mean 24 times a year? He's like, yeah, I mean, that's like most married couples. He's like, well, how much do you get? How much were you getting it before? He's like, three, four times a week? That's too much? You idiot. <laughs> and my son said, man, if that woman say that she can't perform because she's sick, then she's telling the truth. That's just like right now, I'm pretty sure you can't do what you used to do because, uh, your back is her. What if she told you to give it to her like you used to give it to her with your back hurt like you like it is? I tell you what, I'm gonna give you a prime example, man. Get down, touch your toe, do some jumping jacks. And then he tries to do it to prove Marcel wrong. But then he gets in confession and says, I'm going to take Marcel's advice because he really sees what a damn idiot he is to me. So, um, they talk about the barbecue. Here it comes. Cheese Puss says, I'm going to have a barbecue to get things straightened out about the, uh, after the Black Expo. So anyway, he says things were not going good after the Expo. You were being snarky. Smart. Man, Marcel says in a smart way. Yeah, I am intelligent. He said, no, you were, you know, being too smart. You know, you basically stirring the pot. And then Marcel said, yeah, I did it on purpose. Legs and hips. That's what I don't know about like Now, I can honestly say <laughs> that that dude, from every video I've seen, from every content creator I have seen, that dude is the least favorite of anybody on this show. Except for maybe Flunky. I think Flunky like it. Allegedly. <laughs> anyway, he said, yeah, um, the bees like my type of people. What's your type of people? Millionaires ain't your type of people. Country millionaires ain't your type of people. Well, y'all, because you from Pontiac. Shout out to Kim for County. <laughs> Now, I don't know if Courtney is from Kipper County or not, but I know uh, Miss uh, Stormy is. And like I said, that is my true homegirl because I am actually from Preston. <laughs> so, right. Anyway, um, he says, well, the bees lame my type of people and I'm just going to pretend like, you know, I 
didn't know them anyway, just like I didn't know them last year. So I honestly thought that Tisha and Courtney had met them prior to last year, but he is acting like he is Mariah Carey and he don't know them people. <laughs> okay, next. We have Storm. Poor Storm. Then I say strep though was gonna come up if I didn't say it because my child was tested for it and we ended up having seed breaker breaker one night. But anyway, that's what's going on with Storm. Storm has had strep throat in the past and she has um it has gotten worse and when it got worse it turned into a real bad infection that could have been sepsis. But um you know, she's on antibiotics now. She says she's feeling better. Um, but they agreed that Kiki was cool. And then here come the uh, fun part because he was like, man, you said Kiki is cool, but you were calling her dark winged duck. And she was like, well, I mean, in that purple, <laughs> she did look like dark winged duck. And she says um, she likes Kiki, though. And according to say, yes, she is cool, people. She is sweet. And who I don't like, again, Osa. More people, again, have issue with more sour. So Stormy tells Courtney about the copying and pasting. She was like, well, you know, she has my information on the website. She also has my email information on the website. I feel bad for her. I don't know if she did this herself or was this something that had to, uh, that she, you know, had paid somebody for. But in my mind, if Tisha really paid somebody to do this, the devil is in the detail. Nobody that you are paying, right, is going to have to use somebody else's web design. I just don't believe that, you know? I don't, because even, like, back to Canvas, even with me using Canvas, everything that's on those thumbnails, that came from here, <laughs> okay? And you can barely see any remnants of somebody else on my thumbnail. That's my stuff, original. Other than, the, like I said, the background and the pictures, you know, or whatever, but the thoughts that's put into that, those thumbnails and stuff, those are mine. So... I didn't see any extra thought put into this. And if I know if I can not copy and paste straight from those thumbnails, I know that a professional, <laughs> a professional is not going to do that. But anyway, Courtney was like, she came up with her website on her own. But that's an original idea. This is not Tisha's original idea. So they start talking. So uh, she said she will have a conversation with Tisha about the website. Well, right here, they talk about the barbecue. So she brings us barbecue and she was like, we know the Scots are having a barbecue 2.0. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> he said it just like that before she even said, well, we invited. He's like, I'm not going. And uh, he said, I'm falling back from the uh Scott's 1.0 and 2.0 because of that husband again or south. And she was like, You gonna leave me out there like a sitting duck? And he said, Hello, quack quack. <laughs> I will drop your ass out. And she's like, Well, what about if we get into it? Call me. I'm not going. Okay. There go. No, next. Next thing. Marsawa and Tisha are in yet another unfinished product. And here is where Tisha is having herself a pity party. So Marcel says, you know, you know, they're trying to close our good charitable business. I don't know why they're trying to close our good charitable business. Because we are the other people in that group that do a great thing in the community. And he tells her um, about the fundraising you know, on, on the gambling. And he said, well, these people hating on us because we're the greatest. We're the greatest they ever did. And they hating on us. And uh, they don't want us, uh, you know, saying that it's gambling. Why? 
would somebody do that? All these things are coming to me up against me. My own cousin is trying to flatter in my marriage. What's well, I said? Well, I feel like we just can't. That's just not fair, babe. <laughs> and it's not fair, but at the same time, people are questioning you in business because after the black expo, you know what I said when uh y'all was talking about being on black? I was like, what in the world? Is this another scheme set up by the time to come to the other uh, shit? I did think that. And then um she said, people always messing with us, interfering with us. Okay, Tisha, that is a part of the show. That's the same thing I told Stormy over there on her own personal Twitter. When she was going off about the Black Titanic coming to her place, I said, girl, girl, girl. Now, to me, I love your product. I love your success. You are my true home. For real, for real. <laughs> and I think that you should come to a place where you understand this is a part of the game if you want to stay in the game. And uh, she said, I know I'm a strong person, but with this designer stuff, they don't look at the designer because, you know, he, she tells Marcel about the website. And uh, Marcel was like, well, you know, you know you got a professional baby. I don't believe I believe, like Mel does, that she copied and pasted. Because I don't think a professional would have. I just don't. 100% I don't. And uh, she said, well, nobody's going to blame the uh, designer. They always blame Letitia as looking at me like I'm a bad person. But I'm, I'm about to cry. But I'm not going to cry. <laughs> and then he says, don't cry, babe. And then they get ready to leave and he slaps on the cheeks. Okay, it's time for the barbecue. Finally. Because I don't know how much more I can take with this. <laughs> and uh, in confession, Stormy says she's dropped off. And uh, she misses her right hand. Uh, Chief Puff says, uh, they go back to the scene. And Chief Puff is like, where's Courtney? And she's like, he's not coming. And then he's like, why? And then she's like, well, um, you know, she he's not Dealing with your brother right now. And he's like, well, I thought we left that back at the Black Expo um, town hall. And um, Kimmy agrees. And she's like, yeah, I did leave it back there. But so I don't want to talk about it anymore. So she said she doesn't, doesn't want to talk about it. And she, she meant what she said and said what she meant. And they want to go back to it. And it's like, so he's not going to come to anything that we're having anymore. And she was like, um. Uh, Probably not. I mean, Courtney is really upset with your brother. And then Kimmy says that, you know, well, I feel like, you know, maybe they could have a sit down discussion and, you know, get to a common ground. And then she's like, I'm done talking about it. When Stormy said she was done talking about it, she meant she was done talking about it. And this thing, you know, here comes Mel. Mel! Mel! <laughs> it's so hype. Mel, imagine she. Uh, Kimmy, what you got going on? And she said, I'm on the grill. <laughs> and she said, okay. And then Mel's like, I'm, this, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is my kind of thing right here. You know, partying and playing cards and playing spades, you know, fun, barbecue outside. And, okay, here comes Motel. Black Cloud, right? She's already in a good mood. Then Motel, about, hey, Mel. Mel. Then now gets in confession and says, Well, you know, I don't think that uh Mel is right. She could have spoke to him. Then, you know, Chris tells her, Well, you know, we we weren't divorced, but you know, things complicated when we divorced. Well, we were separated too. And I, I probably would have spoke to you. Well, separated ain't divorced and did did um good looking sexy Chris drag you through the mud and try to take your kid. When y'all separated. Because, you know, when you separated, sometimes those things, custody cases do come up as well. Had a friend happen to. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And, uh, well, here we go. Right after the confession, the drummer gets kicked up. Kiki arrived. 
Kiki, uh, she's going around doing her pleasantries, she's speaking to everybody. Tisha, Tisha doesn't speak. Kiki calls her stupid. Kiki, uh, questions, you know, even given in confession, she questions even giving her cousin a chance because every time she gives a chance, some mess like this pops out. Kiki sits down and try to, uh, you know, tell Stormy what's going on, and Stormy is clueless. Kiki calls cousin Tisha ignorant, ignorant for blaming her for what Beep Beep's ex told her. She tells her that um, Beep Beep is supposed to be messing with Masai. Masai was just sitting there, but you know, I know Masai is in her ear. Something is cut here. I believe he was in her ear. Calling her a D act. I do. Because these things, I don't think Kiki would have just sat down and told Stormy, you know, just off the top of her head without all this transaction between her and uh, Tisha. Marcel does not want her there. Kiki throws the cards because, you know, Tisha's getting louder and louder. Her and Marcel. I'm still thinking that they are calling her a D act. But, uh, mm. so they get a lot of lies. So she says, do, 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 she throws cards at her. And she says, um, here, one, two, one, two, uh, you know. And she comes to splash her around the world. Uh, she's like, get mad, get glad, scratch your ass. And here comes. Here comes the rain again, coming down on me like a new emotion. And uh, she splashes her with the water and gives her a nice little rain shower. Um, Kiki says uh, she needs to get a lie detector for or sour. I think that's what she said because this right here is, is getting jumbled up because everybody jumping in and trying to separate them. Um, more sour. I believe he called her D after I, I, I'm just thinking that it's more to it than that when she even, you know, gives her the shout. I don't know if it was her or uh, more sour that was calling her that. But um, um, in in the in the melee, uh, Sour jumps up and he decides he's like, well, you know, we need to call the police. We need to call. Well, what? Aren't they family? But y'all y'all are into it, and, and there's a brawl going on. But she's in there, dressed in water. Why? 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 <laughs> Why don't you do that to me? Like she innocent. She's not. In the preview, Kimmy asks if she thinks that Kiki needs help. And then Tiffany's like, you know, I see old Tiffany Lou there bouncing the baby. And I've been wondering where she is. Stormy says she's clean. My style says, do you know any act? She said, yeah, my best friend. This is in the preview now. He interrogates her further and asks her, Cause she said her best friend used to work for her. He interrogates her further and asks her, why did the uh, best friend, you know, work that worked for her when she was a D addict, why did she fire her? And uh, she was like, she had to. But I'm thinking to myself, something's going to come up here. I don't know if, you know, something happened to her best friend or maybe she went to jail or maybe she was terminated from the earth. It's something that made her cry, thinking about her best friend. And uh, so Courtney is over there in the gym with Fletch and uh, Motel, and he's like, you know, I'm sick of my style, him and his hips and his breasts. And uh, then they said, well, you're going to have to help sit down with him if we're going to get this group back together. And y'all start back coming to things. Kiki tells Mel she's remorseful with what she did, but hubby kept agitating her. And this is where I think they skipped the part in that scene. Because right here, we know that Kiki is telling 
something to me uh, in an after the fact way that makes it seem like Marsawa was agitating her. The reason why she gave her the rain shower or maybe they were agitating her together about this the added thing. When somebody is clean, I've said it before and I say it again, let them be clean. Oh, this I have never done a love marriage husband video this long 40 minutes gone on way longer than i needed for it to go and you know we have to throw in our own little opinions my own commentary but that's what i did and as sick as i am i'm just surprised that i was able to do 40 minutes what what the hell i tell you why a part of this was that long because i was really really trying to be as detailed as i could quick as i could trying to get back so i could rest <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it didn't happen, so here we are. But um again, my opinion on the water dousing. I really feel like Mar Sowell was agitating her over oh, they were agitating her together about being a D addict. It may not ever come out, but that's my opinion on that. And I can't see I can't honestly say until I find out for sure. If that was what it was, I can't honestly say that Kiki was 100% wrong. Yes, <laughs> it looks like that she was totally in the wrong in that scene. But I just don't feel like she would have done that had some agitation hadn't, hadn't been going on. And I also think that um, I probably would have fought her. <laughs> If that were me. But that's it. I got to go. Uh, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for the, you know, just over the weekend, the 10 extra, extra subscribers. I appreciate all of you. I got to go. I feel terrible. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This is Country Conversation with DVD, and as I do when I sign off, I'm going to chuck them up. Deuces!